there's AP Bass and, and it's flush at 5 a.m. All right, I am uh, putting reels on rods right now. Got a couple reels there. It's 5 a.m. and we're tired, but we have a two hour drive and fish to catch. So, gonna just throw everything in the boat and uh, head to the lake. What are we calling this one? Lake what? Lake Flare. Lake Flare? So if it sucks, you can just say blind flare? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, I'm riding with the old fluke master today. So we are headed two hours to Lake Flare is what uh, Rob wants to call it. Lake Flare. No, it's a dink lake. Oh, okay, yeah, it is Lake Flare. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> I slept not really very well, but maybe for 20 minutes. We're up in our bed, gonna snag some breakfast, and then uh, get to the lake. How you feeling, Parrish? Ready to catch some freaking donkeys? It's like the kid of Christmas. Left Panera. I got the uh, egg sausage cheese sandwich, cup of coffee, and uh, some orange juice. What did you get, Gene? Um, I got the strawberry granola the parfait, you will arrive at 7 and I figured I'd get the full Yeppy experience and got the Fiji water. Living the high class life over here. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> made it to the lake here that's a drone John B's finest drone I'll show you guys what I got rigged up white spinner bait top water walking bait spook and a black and blue Senko that's the stuff I'm gonna roll with today I'm hoping to get a couple videos out of today so you guys might just see the morning and then I might just go with some different tactics for the afternoon I don't really know but Parrot already caught one off the bank so we know we should all be able to catch fish and if we can't I'm deleting my YouTube channel One hour later. All right, so far, Frog hasn't been working. I'm gonna throw it a little bit longer. Rob has switched to the wacky Senko. Uh, yeah, so far it's been a tough day. I don't think uh, Fluke or John or AP have anything either. There's one. Good one. Not a bad one. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. There you go. Yep. What's up, fellas? Hey, what's up, fellas? Look at the color of that bass, man. It's the uh, first fish of the day. It's definitely uh, filled with something there. But uh, it's a chunky fish. You can get the release on this girl here. Hoping for a bigger one. Solid fish, though. Woo! All right, well. It took a little while, but you gotta be persistent here. And uh, now I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing and uh, hopefully catch more fish. This is just so you guys can see, throwing the Yamamoto five inch Sanko. I'm throwing it on a weightless Texas rig. Watermelon red was the color. Of, actually, it was green pumpkin red, but it don't make a difference. I'm gonna tie another one back on and see if we can get some more fish. Crap, that was... <laughs> I went over the top of the GoPros on that one. <laughs> Everyone, I can already hear you. That's a flare fish. That's a flare fish. All right, tiny guy. Another small fish, but yeah. uh. It's fine. We're catching fish. That's all we care about. Just getting some fish catches. All that matters. Yep, little guy. Cinco. Got you on Sanko. Hopefully, you're gonna catch a toad sometime. Has he really got a fish on? Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> it's a big one. 
big girl. Oh, tell me, tell me your drop shot. Tell me your drop shot. He's headlining a drop shot. He's headlining a drop shot right now. Woo! Look at that fish. <laughs> oh. We got so oh. Why are you in our boat? Look at the line. <laughs> All right, so those uh, Googans back there. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Well, like what, what, like a quick recap of what happened. Peric is just awful at fishing and got his line wrapped around John's neck, and then he get, he get, and then he gave up on then he gave up on life, dropped his pole, and then John was bringing in the line with his hand and caught like a two two and a half pounder. And uh, yeah, that's about what happened. Basically, Peric can't catch fish. Yep. Giant. Giant. Caught more fish than Peric is what Flair did. So Flair's caught how many? What is this? This is like six. Well, I no, I think total six, so like five, four or five. How big have they been? All that size? No, I caught I caught one like two and a half. Oh, two and a half? Yeah. That's a giant. Inside. Well, it's bigger than what you've caught. That's huge. Because you can't count the one that you let John hand line in. Yeah, I can. I can do whatever I want. Alright, I'm releasing this. Okay, what did you catch that one on? A, uh, banjo minnow. Did he? Yeah, he, the, you know that kid, he, that kid, uh, there's one. Oh, that's good. What is that? That's how you flip a fish. He wants the sunscreen. You want the sunscreen? I want the sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> <screw> you. <laughs> All I wanted was sunscreen. <sighs> well, got the sunscreen. He smoked it. That's the only thing John can catch in Texas is crappie. Let's see it. Come over here. Oh, that's not that big. Yeah, no, that was wow. Giant. You actually like that was like 18 inches. You look like a f idiot right <laughs> yeah what are you doing naked put on some clothes well, i was trying to air out my clothes because i got drenched all right folks we are uh we're gonna take a little break here we're gonna run a chick-fil-a and academy yep and academy so i'm gonna end the day or i'm gonna end this video maybe i don't you'll you'll see all right but i'm gonna tell you exactly how i caught my fish if you want to know how that dude right there caught his fish go check out his channel i'm sure his video will be up like four months before mine <laughs> Uh, but try to you can search for it and uh, he'll he'll show you how he caught his fish. But I'm, right now I'm gonna break down how I caught mine. So that's all I freaking caught him on right there. So I caught him on. You guys have seen this in a ton of videos. It is the weightless Gary Yamamoto Sanko. The color I was throwing was a watermelon red flake. Uh, pretty pretty basic stuff here. Um, I was throwing braid, which I normally don't, and uh, I just felt like it. You know, the water was dirty, so I didn't really care about the about fish seeing it or anything like that. Uh, the rod I was using was a Castaway Invi- or no, not Invicta, Tyrannus. It's a mag medium heavy, so not quite as heavy as the heavy that I normally use. Uh, the medium heavy did the job, especially because I was using braid, there was low stretch. And uh, the reel I was using was a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. And the line I was using was, I believe, 40 or 50 pound braid. You could probably go a little bit lighter, uh, but I like I like that uh, the heavy stuff there to, to rip them out. We're, uh, we're fishing a lake today. There's like 7 pounders in here, and Rob's been here and caught them. And so I just wanted to make sure I got nice and heavy lines so I didn't lose any. But yeah, that's basically it. We were pitching around uh, little grass clumps and there was just grass kind of scattered out. What is hydrilla? Is that what this stuff's called? Yeah, it's a bunch of hydrilla. It's called hydrilla, not grass. I know a lot about fishing. So we were, <laughs> we were fishing around hydrilla and not grass and just pitching weed edges. You guys have seen me have done this in a lot of videos in the past. Really basic stuff, just weightless. Oh, 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 he caught a fish. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you're interrupting my, uh, my recap here. Okay, well, if you want to know, <laughs> it broke the line. If you want to know how he caught this fish, you uh, you go to his channel, all right? You can, uh, yeah, you take care of that. But yeah, that's basically it. And uh, so again, Gary Yamamoto, uh, where's that pack? I'll grab a pack of them. Pack looks like that. You can go get them at wherever you want. Yeah. So uh, if you want, if you didn't understand my probably not even English what I was just saying before he caught that fish, you go to link or go to the description. There's links, everything, all the details about my gear and setup. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it. How long was this outro? Three minutes? That was a good one. Perfect. Peace. You ready for this, Perry? That was really oh, This is going to be fun, guys. Shut up, Perry. <laughs>